You are listening to the Global Psychosis Network. All right, welcome back to the Jimbo Trashy Podcast. So, uh, Knox, tell me about this dude that you knew that uh, you said he met some chick off Craigslist. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a story and shit. Uh, fucking one of uh, one of my coworkers back a while back and shit. Um, you know, me and him work in the same place, so basically, you know, he'll just tell me shit. And uh, he was telling me this <laughs> this one fucking story, man, that happened that I didn't even know it was happening while I was there. Cause um, basically, he was like looking up at Craigslist and shit, and looking up for fucking bitches to fuck and all that. You know, I tell him like, well, fucking Craigslist, dude, is filled nothing but fucking hookers, dude. <laughs> you just look up there like, oh, daddy, I suck your dick. Bring some roses. And I'm like, what the fuck's roses? I'm like, that's money, dude. Roses is money. He's like, oh. I'm like, yeah, those are fucking hookers, man. You know, fucking anybody knows Craigslist is like just to hook up for fucking hookers or some shit. But I guess there's also some fucking people there that are just freaks and just do want to fuck. Just straight fuck. Which I think is majority of just fucking fat people that just want to fuck. <laughs> so, I don't know what got into him, but he was just he was just uh, telling me something that happened to him and shit, man. And he went into detail about it, and I thought it was the most fucking hilarious story I've ever heard and shit, man. So I want to share it with you guys. Basically, he told me like you know he's been going on fucking Craigslist and all that, and you know just trying to hit up on bitches and shit, see who's down to fucking all. So uh, he says some of them he hit up are fucking yeah. Scams or hookers and shit. Like, oh, hey, daddy, what's up? Oh, you want to get a hotel? We can do it in your car. He's like, oh, no, like, you know, fuck it, go to my pad or your pad or something, just straight fuck. And then, uh, I guess, uh, after a while and all that shit, he was noticing, like, oh, fucking, all these bitches that say they're hot and 21 and 25 or 22 and shit, they're all hookers. He goes, you gotta go for the old ones. I'm like, you know what? You gotta go for the old ones. Yeah, you gotta go for the ones that are at least in the 30s, the 40s, because they can't be hookers. They're real, and they want to fuck. I'm like, all right. And fucking, he was like, so yeah, man. So I fucking, um, I hit this one bitch up and shit. She was a, she was 40 years old and all that. And she says she just wants to fuck. She's a freak and, you know, and all that. She wants to do some nasty shit. She don't give a fuck. She likes light roughness, pull hair, spank her ass and all that. So I'm like, fuck it, you know. She mentioned that she was a BBW. And then uh, it's funny because. Big the, bad wrestler. <laughs> big bad. <laughs> because the funny thing. When he told me that, the night before, he actually texted me. Hey, bro, what does BBW stand for? I'm laughing. I'm like, dude, it means big, beautiful woman or big black woman and shit. Or beautiful black woman and shit. He's like, oh. <laughs> and I'm just laughing. I didn't think nothing of it and all that. I'm just thinking, like, oh, he's probably talking to some bitch and all that shit on the net. Which I was right. So he hits her up and, uh, you know, he goes like, fuck it, dude. She seems like she wants to fucking all that. You know, she's fat. Fuck it. My age, he's like fucking 35 th or some shit like that. So he doesn't give a fuck, dude. He just wants to get pussy and all that. So, you know, um, he exchanges emails and all that, writes her shit. And uh, he's all telling me that uh, he had to give his stats, like his height, his weight, his nationality, size of his shit, fucking what he wants to do to her. And fucking like where, Sears photo eight like, by elevens of his dick. And then like he's all asking me, she wants to know if I had a job and have a car. I'm like, well, seriously, dude, you're gonna fucking fuck a bitch, and she's fucking asking you, you, you have a car. Doesn't matter as long as I have a dick, right? So I'm just laughing at the shit that he's fucking telling me and all. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, okay, man. He goes, yeah, man. So I send the email. She hits me back up. I'm like, no shit. She goes, yeah, man. And fucking in the end, uh. I gave her my number just to make sure if it was real or some scam or whatever the fuck. So he gave her her number. She texts him. And he's all telling me, he's like, oh, dude, what? she texts me, man. She texts me. He's all scared and nervous and shit. Like, fuck, this is real. This is, you know, this happening. This bitch wants to fuck and all that shit. Like, you know, what do you do? And I'm just laughing. Like, you know, fuck like anything. You go to a bar and fuck a bitch. But I guess, like, since it happened so mysteriously, you don't, like, you don't know what the fuck's in the other end and shit. Hi. Hi. Oh, I, I saw your number. <laughs> My name's Candy Kane. I caught your ad in the, in the Craigslist. I just <laughs> thought you want to fuck, maybe. Yeah, you like my lips? You think I'm sexy? I want Oh, man. <laughs> 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 fucking. So basically, like, I'm like, oh, shit. So they hit up the fucking, they're all texting back and forth and all that. And he's all saying, like, yeah, man, she's all, she's all trying to be flirty. And, you know, I'm, try, I'm trying to, you know, trying to, you know, flirt back and say some sexual shit and all that back. 
And then, he, then he's all like, no, let me get a picture. I want to see a picture. Because all this is done talking without a picture. He just knows that uh, she's short, like 5'1". He doesn't know how much she weighs because she wouldn't say it. But she did say she's a big girl. So, you know, we're thinking and like, you know, like guys, we start comparing like, well, how big? Yo, Kazuna big. And then we start looking. Earthquake, maybe. But no, but then, you know, as a fucking true guy, you start going, well, how big will I, am I willing to go to fuck? So we're looking at fucking chicks at our workplace and go, hey, dude, what was if she's that fat? Would you fuck something that fat? I think I would. I'm like, you know what? I think I would, too. <laughs> you know, I'm like, 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 there's certain fucking chubby chicks you'll bang and shit. And there's certain chicks like, nah, dude, I ain't fucking hitting that sloppy shit. So. Like purple asshole. <laughs> like purple asshole, dude. Sloppy. <laughs> purple, right. Hey, purple asshole just recently got married. That's what I heard. Good luck yeah. to that. But uh, congratulations, purple asshole. I'm sure uh, you make a lot of beautiful butthole children. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's all telling me to, uh, yeah, like fucking, you know, he knows he's a big chick, but he wants to see pictures and all that. And she's like, oh, you know, I want to see a picture of you first and all that. And he's like, fuck. He's like. I never done anything and shit like this. You know, he has no Facebook, no MySpace. Like he's he's not that fucking inter- internet type of person. Like, he doesn't give a fuck about profiles or shit. You know, go to the bar, talk to the bitch, what's up? We fucking or not? So he's like, fuck, I gotta take a picture of myself. Like, how the fuck do you do that? Like those stereotypical fucking douchebags. I'm gonna take a good angle of me like this and all that, make a cute face. So he goes upstairs in the fucking <laughs> at in the bathroom at work. He goes to the fucking bathroom stall and tries to take a picture of himself and shit. And he said after a couple of tries, he finally got something that he goes like, fuck it, dude. This will do. You know? And I'm all laughing. I'm like, why did it take you so long? Why did you just send the first or second one that you took? He's like, nah, dude. After I took my picture, I looked at myself. I'm like, no. Because I was thinking, if she sees this picture, she's going to be thinking, am I going to suck this fool's dick? I don't know. So he goes, I might as well make it a fucking worthy picture. And fuck it, if I ever want to talk to some other more bitches like that, that's the picture I'm going to fucking use and shit. So I'm like, all right, so fucking fuck it, dude, whatever. So he takes his fucking picture and all that. And then uh, he says that she texts it back. And I'm like, oh, you're cute. You look hot. Yeah, baby, I want to do this and all that. And he was like, all right, well, let me let me get a pic of you and all that. She goes, oh, okay, I will. I just want one more. He's like, one more? Yeah, I want a dick pic. <laughs> I want a dick pic right now. I want a picture of your cock. So fucking, he's like, what? He's like, and he, like he like when he was telling me, he's like, fuck, I was gonna take just take a picture of my dick right there, bro. But I was like, no, he's just chilling there. Look, I need to fucking, he's like, I need to get that shit hard. I'm like, oh, dude, what the fuck did you do? And now, now I start talking shit. I'm like, you better not have done this in our fucking office, man. You better not, you better not, not in the office, not in the office. This is a workplace. <laughs> so. He goes to the fucking bathroom again in the fucking stall. And then he says he's trying to get his shit hard. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, I don't want to fucking hear about this. He goes, no, no, dude, it's just, he goes, he goes, do you want to hear the whole story or not? I'm like, yeah, I do. Because he goes, I went through a lot of fucking trouble for this shit. I'm like, okay, okay, whatever the fuck. You want in trouble for some fat bitch? Go. So he goes, yeah, so I'm trying to get my shit hard. And it was hard when there's a fucking fool in the next stall taking a shit. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. I'm right there trying to get my shit hard, or at least get it decent looking, and this fool's just like <laughs> <laughs> dropping it. I'm like, what the? F-? I'm like, oh, dude, I just would have called it quits. And he's like, dude, in the smell, he was <laughs> Asian, cause he was Asian. So and he he he's curry in that motherfucker. Yeah, dude. So he he was it was smelling bad. So in the end, he was fuck it, dude. It's a good size. He's trying to stack it. <clears> it's a good size. <laughs> he was like, it's a good size, and I'm like. And I'm like, it was, fuck it. He's I don't like, know. The shadowing's a little off. I don't know if I like that one. You see, he's, he sees <laughs> that he snapped a picture and he finally goes, like, I finally found one that I liked and I sent it. I'm That'd like, be funny if he had his coworkers like examining the photo with him. Like, yeah, what do you think of this one, guys? What, is that good? Is that good? Go through them. Just go to the right. Keep going. <laughs> I like this one. It's kind of slanted. It kind of looks like it's saying, "What's up?" Can you text this one to me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This one. This one says, "Like, you know what? I'm mysterious and dangerous, but I'm intelligent at the same time." <laughs> Oh, by this penis, I can tell he's very intelligent. He's got ambition. Yeah. I'm, I'm sold. This looks like he likes David Lynch movies and shit. That's what this cock says. You see the curve here? Total faggot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Enough of that. So anyways, he goes, he finally did that shit. He sent a picture to her. 
And then uh, he goes, that she was all on it, like, ooh, yeah. Oh, you're making me wet, baby, all that bullshit. <laughs> so then I go, all right, did you get a fucking picture? He goes, yeah, I got the picture. I got two pictures. I'm like, well, fuck yeah, you sent two pictures. You better get two pictures back. But the first one, she was wearing her clothes, and it's just a full body picture. And I go, well, how she look like? And luckily, he still had the picture and showed me, and she looks fat. You know, fat. Wah, wah. You know, like, 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 like my good James Trashy says, how's her hair? Fat. How's her eyes look? Fat. Her hands? Fat. Like, she was just fat. So I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, man. So I start kind of thinking of it, man. She's fat. But then the second picture was a picture of her fucking shaved pussy and shit all spread open. I'm like, fuck it. It's pink. It's pink. So when he saw the first picture, did he hear this sound? No. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> but then the next one we saw the pussy was like... <laughs> it, was, it was this sound right here. <laughs> oh, I love that sound, dude. That's you you sound. want that? All right, sorry, go ahead and go on. <laughs> You better apologize, bitch. I'm sorry. So fucking, um, he sees that, he's like, fuck. But then he sees the second picture of a pussy, he's like, hey. Hey. Hey, that, that's what I wanted in the first place and shit. There it is. So I'm like, fuck it, dude. And he, so he goes, fuck it. I, I saw, a, you should send me a pussy shot. It's on, dude. This bitch wants to fuck, you know. In the end, dude, I just want a hole. I just want a fucking hole to. That's all he wanted. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it, yeah, dude. Do it. Do it. So. After all the exchange and all that shit, he finally gets the information where she's staying at. She was staying in a fucking hotel over there, uh, and fucking up, uh, you know, close over up uh, by the freeway and all that. So right when you exit, it's right there. So he's all telling me and shit, cause uh, oh, cause he was married, and now he's a, uh, he's recently divorced and shit. So he's been out of the game for a minute and all that. So he was like, "Fuck, man, I had to go buy condoms. I didn't know what the." Fuck to buy, dude, because I, you know, I've been fucking without him for so long and shit, because he has kids and all that shit. So he's like, I've been fucking with so long, I don't know what to get. So I'm like, dude, just get a fucking Trojan and shit. He, I'm, and he goes like, yeah. He goes, oh, but I got the one that they have in the commercial. I'm like, the one in the commercial. Yeah, for her and my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I want the one that says just for my pleasure. For her pleasure, dude. I'm trying to get myself off, bitch. Not you. So I was like, oh, I'm like, all right, fuck it, dude. I thought it was just hilarious and shit. Like, fuck it. He's taking it in consideration. Like, I hope she gets off. I know I need to get off. Fuck. I'm the first picture. but So he gets that shit. And then uh, he says he finally goes to the fucking, uh, he goes to the, to the hotel and shit he's waiting in the parking lot waiting for the car because he says like oh you know i'm gonna text you the the number once i get there so you see he got there a little bit early and then he said he was all fucking nervous palms all fucking sweaty and shit dude he was just like fuck this is happening this is happening just straight up fucking email the bitch and we're just about to fuck that's it that's it just fuck oh yeah you know like i said <laughs> so i was like <laughs> so he was like he was like damn dude and, and like i said like I, I seen her picture she's fat and all that but you never know what the fuck you're gonna get at the end so he was still nervous about that you know now how fat are we talking about okay. are we talking like sumo wrestler fat? okay let, let me james you want to hear I'm the sorry. story you want to hear the story okay so he's telling me he's waiting and he fi he finally gets the text dude so picture like a movie he's waiting yeah <laughs> romantic <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. Room 112, first floor. Bring food. Oh, shit. It's happening. <laughs> dum, dum. Dum, dum. He, he walks in. He asks the guy, hey, where's room 112? He went there and shit. He said once he started walking through the hallway, all right, the room was at the end next to the exit, all right, where people can walk. In case you want to escape. Where people, yeah, if you want to escape where people are just walking in and out through their parking lot and shit getting their shit or just smoking outside, you know, because there's an ashtray there. But it was the last room. He says he, once he starts getting closer to the room, he starts hearing moaning. He starts hearing like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. And, the... and I'm like, what, were you inside? He was like, no, dude, I'm not even by the door yet. And I'm hearing this <laughs> shit. And I'm, when I'm walking towards it, I'm, I'm already walking slow, thinking like, what the fuck is going on? And when I'm walking, people were coming in from the exit, and they heard that shit, and they're like, whoa, somebody's having a good time. And they're <laughs> fucking all laughing away and shit. So after that, he's all walking slowly, and then looking, like, back and forth and shit. Is there anybody else going to see me? Is anybody going to see me walk, knock on this fucking door and going on? 
So he, he goes, he goes, he gets to the front door and he pauses because he's just like, am I hearing things? Is it the next room? No, nah, it's that room. And you hear this bitch just moaning, yelling, screaming. You hear the fucking, the backboard of the fucking bed hitting the... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, fuck. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so what'd you do? Did you split? And he goes, no. I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, go on. And he's like, I thought about it and... I don't. He goes. I don't know what happened. I was already there. My. I guess you know, all the excitement after everything and shit. I knocked on the door. I'm like, you knocked on the door. I'm like, I knocked on the door. I'm like, oh shit. What happened? I knocked on the door. Someone opened it, and that's it. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, they didn't open. It. Like, no, they just opened it, and I had to, you know, I had to push my push the door open myself to go in. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's all that about? Yeah, I go, why'd you even go in? He's like, fuck it, dude, I'll, I'm already here. Every, the, all the excitement and everything you add to it, fucking curiosity got to me, man. So I had to fucking go in. I'm like, all right, man. He goes in. She sees the fucking, the fat fucking walrus bitch on the fucking bed, tied up with a bandana over her eyes. Oh, because he said that she was going to be blindfolded the whole time. She was not going to see any of you. Anybody. She was not going to see you. Wow. And she was going to be tied up. And I'm like, oh, shit. But when he gets there, one thing she failed to mention, it was a fucking gangbang. Oh. There was fools running the train on her. Wow, dude. <laughs> I was like, what? And then like, uh, yeah. Oh, and before that, when he went to go get the condoms, he bought a fucking uh, this drink. That can make you last longer while fucking. So, well, it, I, I never yeah. heard of that shit. Yeah, it's, it's called Volcano. It, it's basically what porn stars use and shit do so they can fuck for a while and all that before, and you won't come for him. Where the fuck do you get that shit? Well, he got his from a porn shop and there's other shit you can get from Rite Aid and all that. And it gets you drunk or something? No, or? no. It's whiskey like it, does the same shit to me, dude. <laughs> and then you get whiskey, dude. take forever to fucking come on that shit. But then like, it, it takes you and it, and it gives you a stamina. So when you're fucking and you're getting tired... It kicks in and you're not tired and you're just going like an energizer bunny. And uh, he uh, fucking he said like fucking it almost took him two hours until he fucking came and shit, dude. Dang. That he was just going at it and it was just fucking hard. And basically it reads like fucking only take it once within a 24 hour period. Well, you, you skipped ahead, so he joined in. Um, that, that, oh yeah, he did. Wow. <laughs> so how many dudes were in there? It was just two. It was just two guys. And two shit. guys besides this dude. Yeah. Okay. So he goes in there and he was like, fuck. He goes in there and like, fools were, the bitch was on the bed. Fools were buck naked and shit. And fucking, she's like fucking sucking it. Mm, 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 like fucking, total, like total from a fucking porn scene and shit. One guy in one end, one guy in the other end. And she's like fucking going back and forth sucking dick and all that bullshit. And he tells me he was there. He's like, he told you she was a beached whale? Yeah. Like how beached? Well, that he was there. He was like, fuck. He's like, I'm here. So he started, he got butt naked. I mean, was she spilling over the mattress? I, oh, nigga, you <laughs> fucking, we got this far. You're going to let me finish? Because he, I'm like, fuck. He, he goes, so, um, so yeah, he, he, got, he got fucking butt naked. He's like, fuck it, dude, it's going to happen and shit. And I'm like, really, man? You, you did that shit? It's fucking crazy. You know? And he's like, fuck it, dude. Like, he goes, I'm fucking, uh, I'm, I'm cool with my sexuality and shit, man. And he goes, I just went with it. He goes, I did it with the homie and shit where we fucking... We took turns on a bitch and shit and all that. It was not extreme like this. It was kind of like he hit it, then I went fucking afterwards and all that. But it was this was fucking a trip. So he goes in there, and then right when he gets up to it, he you just smell. He says he smell the sex. Like you just smell fucking sex in the fucking room and all that <laughs> shit. Whew. And all that. Oh, and then he yeah he drank before he went in there too. So he was already fucking buzzed. With the fucking, some sort of fucking energy fucking drink that makes your cock hard and all that I shit. I hope so, dude. So he was already fucking, he, like I said, he was already invested in it. That was like, fuck, dude, there's like really no turning back and shit. Like, I'm already here. Like, I'm, 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 like if I go home, I'm jacking off. Yeah. So, so I'm like, all right, dude. So he goes at it and uh, he goes, yeah, this bitch was fat. And I'm like, well, yeah, dude. Like, you see the picture, she's fat. Like, yeah, fupa fat. Like, she had a fupa, like, a fucking kangaroo pouch fucking hanging. A joy pouch. You know those fucking jokes that we always say, like, oh, that fat bitch, you probably got to lift up her stomach to get to her pussy? 
Yeah, that's exactly what you had to do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking. <laughs> so he goes there and fucking her, her legs fucking is all fucking spread and shit. And he's like, fuck. You see the pussy, but then you see some of the fupa fucking covering the top of the clit. So he's like, ah oh, shit. So he lifts it up and all that. <laughs> he lifts it up and he just starts fucking fingering the shit out of her. In the end, he says he's like, oh dude, I think I was about to fist the bitch and all that. And then there's uh. There's one other fool who's like, yeah, man, fuck the shit out of her, man. Fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> so he was like, fuck, put on his fu- um No, before that, he got, he got his fucking, uh, he said he was fucking uh, face fucking the bitch. And I'm like, what? Like, she was all tied down. I'm like, no, dude, like, total porn status and shit. One guy was jacking off. I'm, like, laying over her fucking face and shit. And she's like, going, <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, dude. I actually choked the bitch where she had a, oh, I can't breathe. Took a couple of seconds and shit. And the home, uh, the other fool, I, I guess he's a ringleader or some shit. to says shit, uh, fucking nasty fat orgies like that and shit. Because he's like, fuck that bitch. Eat that dick. I picture these dudes wearing like the fucking mask from uh, Pulp Fiction, the Gimp mask and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking, so like fucking, he goes, yeah. So I fucking shoved it back in her mouth. And she's like, <laughs> Choking the shit out of it. He was like, because in the end, he was like, fuck it, dude. I'm going to fucking violate this bitch. So he fucking fucked her mouth and shit, nutted in that shit. And while the other, she fucking, uh. What's the other dude doing? The third dude. The third dude, he's, he's like reading a magazine and shit. The other he's playing with that other guy. That's he, goes, he, goes, he goes, he didn't pay attention too much, dude, because he wasn't trying to pay attention to the dudes, but fucking. He goes, it was always like someone was fucking, someone was getting head, and the guy was either uh, getting jerked off by the chick and shit. And then they'll take turns and fucking swap all and go around and all that shit. It's like the rotation. Well, what kind of did he say? What kind of dudes these were? Were they like older dudes or the younger dudes? Nah, he said they were older dudes and shit. He said that he was, <laughs> he was, he was, because he considered himself old. He goes, ah, oh, dude, I'm old, but I was the youngest one there. I was uh-huh. like, oh shit. So fucking um, when they're going uh, going at it and all that shit, like uh, you know, he he fucking he he banged the, he banged the bitch, dude. He goes, I fucked that fat bitch, man. Oh, fuck that fat bitch. Like, there was no tomorrow. I'm like, really? He was like, you, you ever heard that expression? Like, oh, more cushion for the pushing? I'm like, yeah. He goes, that's so fucking true. He goes, when he was fucking that fat bitch, dude, it felt like he was just fucking a bunch of pillows. <laughs> like, he, he, like, the whole time he was like, dude, I didn't even know if my dick was in, dude, because I was looking at him like it's so soft. And I looked down, like, no, it's in there, dude. It's just the whole fatness was just a big cushion. Fluffy, dude. Yeah, fluffy. For his pleasure. <laughs> and then he, was, he, like, he was just fucking, he, like, he was just going at it. And the thing is, see, he was, it was hard for him because he goes, dude, he goes, oh, I just wanted to come so bad and leave, dude. I just wanted to split. But since he took that motherfucking drink, dude, he had two hours of boner to kill. <laughs> So he had no choice but to fuck the shit out of her. And then uh, one fool fucking said finish and fucking left and was chilling. I guess that was his hotel room. He got the hotel room. He was there just chilling in the living room fucking on his inter- on the computer and all that. Wait, so there was, there was another, another dude just chilling? Hanging no, no, no. That, that was a, one of the, the third guy and shit. Oh, okay. And he, he guess he done it. In the end, it was the other guy who was like telling like, oh, suck that nigga's cock, bitch. Fucking, uh, he was getting his dick sucked. And then she goes on dog and she goes, I want it, I want it, I want it from behind. Like I want a doggy style, and then he goes when she once she got on doggy style, that fucking fupa with bloop, gravity took place, dude, and it looked like she had like big balls. Did her inner thighs have darker skin? They're dark. They're brown like your walls. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, you're a dirty motherfucker. In the end, um, she was sticking up my ass. I'm like, did you do it? Yeah. And I went there. Easily, so I'm like, dude. She goes, yeah, dude. Like, exactly like what she posted on Craigslist. She's a freak. She's down for this shit and all that. So he went at it. He finally was able to bust his nut, and then he was, and that's it. He and the whole like, time the dude, the dude staring at him, like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. He he, he yeah. said he, he said he he said he wasn't paying attention to the other guys. He was just trying to concentrate on his shit. No, but the other dudes were like staring at him, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably like in Pulp Fiction, that guy's like, yeah. Mm. Hit that shit. <laughs> Probably, but he said he wasn't paying attention the whole time. He's trying to concentrate to fucking come and stay hard and still be kind of like, like, I'm into this. Because, you know, he goes, it was a fucking well-risk bitch, dude. In the end, you're not, not attracted to that shit. But in the end, like, you know, fucking, I guess, pussy's pussy and all that shit. So he's fucking, he was able to fucking finally blow his fucking load and all that. And then he's like, when he was all done and shit, 
um, he was trying to catch, he was like, he was catching his breath, and the fucking bitch was still there with a the blindfold on, and she didn't see any of these fools fucking her and all that. So she's there, and then he's there just chilling, fucking trying to fucking catch his breath, and it's only them two, and it's all quiet, and she's like, are you there just watching me, touching yourself? He's like, nah, man, I'm just high, trying to Where'd catch my breath. Where'd the other dudes go? One fool, I guess he said, went to go take a shower, and the other fool was already fucking on the computer, fucking emailing shit for work. Yeah, I gotta pick up my kids up. <laughs> so he said, yeah, and those those guys were married, dude. The guy, one of the guys was from out of town. He comes. Can you guys keep LA it down. Work. I'm trying to talk to my kid. <laughs> so he goes, yeah, they fucking, he, he fucking, he, uh, you know, he got dressed and fucking boned the fuck out and shit. He said once he got in his car, he was like, fuck. What the fuck just happened? Like, he couldn't believe what the fuck just happened. He couldn't believe he just did what he fucking did, dude. Like, he was laughing in his car for 10 minutes hysterically and shit. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. The whole time he is just fucking, like, like, like I can't believe this shit happened. I can't believe I did it. And I'm like, no fucking way. Well, you did, fucker. You did. He's like, damn. I'm like, are you gonna do that shit again? Like, probably not, man. If I am, it'll be a fucking skinny bitch. I'm done with the fucking fat bitches, dude. He never told you how, like, I mean, an est- a guesstimation of how many tons this woman, or, uh... Alright, it's like this. Was. Picture a fucking fat bitch, like, when she puts on pants and is wearing a shirt, and her gut's still hanging where her fucking pussy should be. It's like that. But, I mean, are we talking, like, like typical fat chick, where she's, like, 180 pounds? Like Adam Roddy's sister. That... That's like a hundred. That's like four hundred pounds. Uh, like okay, that's I'll say like two hundred something. That's not too fat. Like probably two twenty. Five not, one. That's not too she, fat. She, she said he was. She was short like five one five two. So you gotta think of it short and fat. Like are we thinking? Are we thinking? That, I'm, I'm pulling up a picture for you guys that are listening at home. Um, are we talking like this fat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Not that. Okay, that's not too fat then. <laughs> oh my god, dude. If you're saying that's not too fat, that's not bad. What the fuck do you have? No, I'm saying if I'm saying if this was if it wasn't that, the whatever that dude was fucking was not too fat. Let's see. How about uh like, <laughs> this was a little bit skinnier. <laughs> a little bit skinnier. That fat? No, not that fat. Okay. A little bit lesser, a little bit more yeah, lesser. A little, than that. a little better. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting a little bit better. We're getting but, a little bit better on the threshold of fatness. But basically, he said after that shit, he went home, dude. He fucking took a shower. He says right after that, he he wanted to throw up. He felt like he what wanted to throw up and shit. <laughs> Did I close to it? I think that's the chips fat the last two ones that you've shown. <laughs> nah, not that fat. Well, remember the picture that he showed me? Like, she was wearing clothes, like, but she didn't look that big. Let's but see here. Let's try to find... But he said he went home, dude. He felt so disgusted. He he wanted to throw up that he ended up like dry heaving and spitting. And he took a shower, dude. <laughs> he took a shower like a rape victim and all that. <laughs> like he was like, oh, I'm crying. And then fucking uh, two days. Hey, how about later, this fat? Think it was about that fat? Yeah, like about that fat, and a little bit more fupa mish. Fupa, fupa. A little That's more. That's not too bad. So fat like that, out of fupa though. I mean, it's fat, but I mean, it's, it's fat. But like I said, out of fupa. Sagging, kind of like a fucking like a like a fanny pack. When sagging like like she's a gangster. <laughs> yeah, a sagging <laughs> fupa. So like, and like, I guess like since she was, I guess like you said, she was laying on his back. It wasn't that bad because if she was standing up and all that shit, it was probably be different. But then like two days later, he t- he tells me that story. Like I gotta tell you something, man. I'm like what? Remember how I told you I was going on crazy? I'm like yeah, yeah. He goes, man, well I finally got it and I finally did it. I'm like no fucking shit. <laughs> so I'm rolling, I'm cracking up, and he's telling like, "Yeah, man, I'm like, do you regret it?" He was like, "Yeah," he was like, "I didn't like, I didn't like, she tricked me." The she bitch never mentioned that it was gonna be a fucking gangbang. <laughs> How do you bring that up though? But then I go, <laughs> <laughs> but then the, and then I go, "All right, well, but you were already there. How come you didn't just leave?" And I'm like, "Man, I was already buzzed. I was already on that fucking drink. I was already kind of horny just because of the whole excitement, and I was already there where I was like." Like, fuck it. So he fucking did it, dude. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> Lee, beware of Craigslist, dude. It's only filled with hookers and fat bitches. And bikes. Um, That's you uh, get a, car there a very good. interesting story the guy told you. Um, 
uh, that's all we have time for tonight. We'll see you next time on the Jimbo Trashy Podcast, where everything is a conspiracy. Even you are a conspiracy. On Craigslist.